Okay, this video is to show you how to move, remove and replace the Nicro solar vent. I have a boat I bought that had an old one and the solar panel was inundated with water. The battery was severely corroded, so I just had to get a new one. Um, I'm already part way through this, but basically there were three or four screws on top. You pull off the solar part um, and that exposes the actual vent underneath. And I've taped over this with uh, taped over this with duct tape just to keep the rain out since this has taken a few days for me to find the right parts. Um, and basically this is the deck mount, this black part. Um, and straight through here is a four inch vent. Yours may be three inches. Um, all around this uh, was uh, caulk, um, silicone based caulk. So I had to go and uh, buy some uh, caulk remover and I'm using the Molson Booker's lift off. Um, and Nyko recommended using a 3M product. I haven't tried that, um, but this is pretty good. Uh, basically, you just squirt it along the edges inside. Um, take a putty knife here, as I did, and basically work it in. And you'll notice the, the shape of the vent is round. Um, sorry, my light's in the way. But you basically have to get the, the caulk remover inside under the entire black part and just kind of work it in slowly around the edges uh, with your putty knife. Uh, once you do that, uh, this product, you only have to just wait about three minutes. It says don't leave it on more than 15. Um, and you can immediately start seeing the putty come loose um, and pull off. It's not completely clean, it doesn't dissolve of course, um, but it does break the bond. And with a putty knife, you can eventually work it under all the way to the vent there. When you get to the edges, when you get to the edges here, you've got this whole section you want to work underneath and just get that putty knife, get that putty knife all the way under. Sorry, my leg, get that putty knife all the way under. Um, the screws, there are three mounting uh, screws. Um, that actually hold down the deck plate in addition to the silicone seal and you need to get your putty knife uh, in there as well um, And once you do Yeah Once you do uh, that'll be the tough part, but once you do and let it sit a bit more um, This whole thing I, I started pulling up on the edges one by one of course wear gloves um, I've already done the work most of it. So I'll just show you um, But once you've done all the work this whole part should remove like that. All right, so that's step one or two. <laughs> uh, you can see some of the shards of, or the pieces of putty that came off. And this is a giant mess. So next step will be uh, clean. Okay, so I've got my gloves back on. I'm gonna move that piece out of the way. And I think the next step is I'm gonna take this, take the uh, caulk remover again um, and just spray a little bit. Oop, I got some inside. I'm gonna spray a little bit around the edges here. Make sure it doesn't drip in. Make sure it doesn't drip in. And then I want to smear it all over this and work it in. I should tape this from below. That's what I should do. Uh, but I'm already started. My battery's dying, so um, it Looks like there's some on the edges too Just be careful not to get it inside the cabin as much as possible And I basically want to make sure I can clean this off completely and I'll be using sandpaper in a bit uh, once The rest of the caulk is off and I get this scraped Okay so I've gone ahead and taped up the inside. Uh, too much stuff was just falling off. And one thing I noticed was uh, not only do we have the uh, the caulking, but there's also some silicone adhesive, uh, which is what the Nicro manual asks for. Um, what I was surprised though is that he, the prior owner, um, I must have added both. Not quite sure why, um, but you can see on the inside here the. You put the caulking and silicone down across the flange so it's not just on the outside but it's also providing a seal on the inside so the unit can't can't uh, 
move it at all. Um, I'm gonna have to work at this a bit more. Um, it's really just like peeling tough eggshells, uh, and it's just piece by piece. You can see the the break off here. So uh, I'll keep picking at this, but yeah, I think sealing off the inside has uh, made this a lot easier. I'm, too much stuff was just falling down inside. I've scraped up just about as much as I can. You can you can see uh, because it's kind of like an egg peeling off silicone. Um, some of the, there's some kind of mount here, this kind of uh, beige color. Um, the, some of the sealant's still there, and I think that's the original fiberglass underneath this, this mount. Um, it's all kind of broken off in pieces. Um, some of it, I guess, is chunked away or been cracked, so it gets pulled up with the sealant. It's not very clean, um, so I add some water around here, plug this up with some paper towels or a rag, um, the underside is still still sealed, but uh, I added some water. The product says you know make sure you rinse it off, and now I'm basically going to take a, a heat gun to it, dry the area, uh, and use some sandpaper to see if I can uh, get this evened out and remove some more of the sealant with that. All right. taped up overnight to further dry, um, come back in the daytime when it's sunny, as much as I would love to finish this today. Got some 80 grit sandpaper. I don't think I'm going to get this stuff that's actually like embedded, unless I filed this whole thing down. I don't want to do because it's cold out and raining some days. All right, I'm back again. So second day or second night, um, the the uh, through deck is ready for mounting this deck plate. One thing I just noticed, however, is on this new black deck plate. The, the new screw positions that hold it in place are about half a centimeter offset from the old holes. Um, so we have to basically re-drill new holes. Um, and we don't want it to be probably in line with the old holes because right next to that's the water drain and some of that water could flush back um, into that screw and set. And the old screw holes are actually uh, still filled with sealant. Um, so that kind of helps, but I'm going to try and offset a bit. Um, and then when that's done, I'm basically going to clean with some acetone uh, per the instructions. And when that's done, when that's all dried up, uh, the last step would be to add the sealant around the base on the inside of this, on this ring here around and also around the flange that goes down into the hole. Um, it cures, it, the first cure starts in about 15, uh, one hour at this temperature um, and won't cure for 24 hours. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do again tonight. Um, I'd really like not to leave this, uh, not to leave this as it is currently uh, because I've gotta go away for a business trip for the rest of the week, so all right. Let you know what we do. Okay, so uh, the acetone has been applied. This has been thoroughly cleaned. Um, there's still some things like hanging off pieces here. Uh, and this part here actually broke away, which tells me that this kind of ceramic or I'm not sure what it is, it's not fiberglass, but it was laid in place to kind of even this out. So, one thing I'm going to do now that I've got my uh, marine adhesive sealant fast cure is fill in these edges to even it up um, and that'll also set in the the holes where the new screws are mounted um, and I'll make sure to fill up the old ones as well. I'm basically going to make this nice and even um, and then on the on the unit itself we're going to make sure we add the sealant here at the flange uh, where the plate meets um, the part that goes in the in the deck. Alright, so once we do that, I'm going to set that in 
so this whole part should be covered with the sealant, um, as well as, I guess, well it said seven millimeters, so a quarter of an inch, it's approximately where the holes are. So I'm just gonna fill up to the holes and get a nice seal going around uh, and make sure that it's even. Uh, and yeah, and naturally if I coat the inside of this, uh, it should coat the inside of this part, kind of where you see the white sealant from before. All right. Okay, so she is sealed and now setting. This stuff is super hard to get out of the tube. I could have helped myself by trimming off a one other, one size larger on the tip. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, really tough product going through that little. I, I clipped it off at the first part. Um, I applied a little bit more uh, than a quarter inch, as the instructions said. So, um, for the most part, it's lining up with the end, this side of the screw, the outside of the screw. So, yeah, it's probably just a bit over a quarter inch, uh, and the flange as well. I put in just enough to cover the crease, and some of the stuff that I laid inside uh, will will spill down once I once I uh, screwed this down. Uh, just through uh, pressure. Uh, so last step, just checking that all of my uh, bolts are flush. They weren't too tight. Um, that one looks okay. Yeah. Is that cracking? No. Um, and this one, I know it's hard to see. My apologies. Yeah. So they're all tight, but not too tight. Um, I didn't go until I heard any cracking sounds. Um, one thing I noted was when I put this in, I wanted to make sure I pulled this up. Uh, past the lip just so if any of the product uh, spilled down into the hole as I was setting this I didn't want it to uh, Didn't want it to get on the edges of this which is coated with some kind of grease on the inside and Prevent me from being able to open and close this hatch. So if I look on the inside uh, I don't see any spillage and I can check from below as well um, But I'm pretty sure it didn't this stuff is super thick uh, and it it says it sets in an hour uh, in 70 degree weather or 90 degree weather. I don't know, it's 70, 15 minutes in 90 degree weather, but uh, it's only 40 degrees out here. Um, so I can't imagine how tough this is when it does set because it already felt like it was setting. All right, so the last step will be, uh, yeah, this is, this is solid, absolutely. Um, the only thing that concerned me was Actually, these drain holes. I was looking to see if they, if they actually gave any clearance for water to drain. Um, I'll have to see it in the daytime. It's hard with the shadows, um, but most of these holes are very flush, maybe like a millimeter open, depending on the side. So I'm kind of curious um, how this would drain if water did come in. Um, I'm guessing it's through this this bottom hole mostly, where there's more camber, but. Uh, yeah, I'll find out. Otherwise, I gotta back out some screws or maybe cut this part open. Just, you know, take a drill to it and cut the entire wedge open. I guess that would be okay, but I'll, I'll ask them. All right, on to the last step, which is I'll just mount the plate, the top cover, and the solar panel. Um, and that should be that. We'll let this set while I'm away from my trip. Tomorrow should be sunny as well, so uh, this will definitely be set by tomorrow night as far as I know, if the packaging is to be believed. Okay, so I have removed the tape below. Um, there, I noticed there was some, there was some silicone or whatever that sealant is, silicone sealant uh, on one of these inside tabs at the bottom. And I think that's because when I set this inside, uh, it touched the, the edge first um, and just took some down with it. But otherwise, I, once that was wiped off, um, it was good to go. Uh, so the last step here is to uh, add the the solar vent or the solar panel and the fan, um, and those three holes one, two, three will line up with the raised three uh, that you see right there. Uh, one, two, three. Um, and once that's in, I just put in these uh, three screws with O-rings, and uh, off we go. All right. So there's the finished product. Not bad. So I tested all the sides. She doesn't lift at all. Um, 
the only thing I noticed when putting this on was, uh, and I, I'm guessing this is because of the camber, um, I, I'm glad I didn't over tighten anything on the inside on the deck plate because uh, depending on which ones you do first, one, two, and then three, the third one will always be a little bit off centered. So you had, I had to almost kind of like push it over um, so it could find the hole, uh, the matching hole there. Um, but it's on and it's not not terribly tight, just kind of finger tight. And there she is. Beautiful. Yeah, I made a mistake. These are actually the uh, the water drains here. It's not the the black on the inside. Although I guess those would drain microscopically if if water came in and went over the black plates. Um, they could drain out that way. But yeah. Very nice. Can't wait for her to get her charge. Uh, they say it's going to be 24 hours in the sun, 24 to 36 hours in the sun, um, and then uh, she just comes on. So I think I'll, I'll I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a push button underneath. I'm not sure if it's which one is on or off, but uh, I'll leave her off if I can while I'm away for the trip. All right, the solar vent is installed. I came back from my trip. And let's turn it on. Well, let's test up the off part. That seals it. And then we'll pull down again to open it. It's the green water vent. So I guess if it's splashing around out there, you can close it. Just make sure there's absolutely no water coming in. There's a button up here, if you can see it. Just push on that. Yeah! It works! Let's go top side. All right, there she is, and looks great. She's actually on. Can't hear her. Can only hear that blast of Christmas music across the marina. I'm gonna do a quick water test. Right now the hatch. Right now the hatch is open down below, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little water on top. Try to go inside. Let's check the down below. Nothing with a little splash. Water's going down there, but nothing coming on here. And that's with with the hatch open. So anyway, yeah, wind and stuff. I'm. I'll be curious to try like how when you actually have to close it, how bad it has to get outside. But yeah, that dousing seems fine, which is more than what rain would do. Alright, thanks for watching.